Hey there, Warrior Mamas. Sam McCormick here, founder of the Warrior Mamas Movement, and I'm super excited to be joining you today. It is a lovely weather up here in Northeast Nevada, and I also have the lovely, gorgeous Amelia hey. down here on my left. Hi, Amelia. And uh, she has just started teething, and her two bottom teeth are coming in at the same exact time. So she may be a little fussy today. Let's just roll with it. Um, but today I wanted to talk about cravings and what exactly they are and how do we manage them. Now this is going to be particularly important if you are just starting on your health and wellness journey, if you're just starting to transition over to a whole food plant-based diet, cravings are probably going to hit you pretty hard and that's totally normal, which is why I wanted to talk about this today. So we have around 700 trillion non-human cells in our body and we're going to call those microbes. These are going to be bacteria, viruses, fungi, and yeasts that exist inside of us and on the surface of our bodies. Now, they are not technically us, but they are vitally important to our health and they are completely necessary to our existence. So you can think of them as like our roommates. Microbes have gotten a lot of bad press, um, especially with the pandemic which has convinced us that they all need to be killed off and clever marketing has made Purell a household name. We often take antibiotics at the first hint of a cough, but microbes constitute 80% of our immune system and beneficial bacteria can keep the harmful ones in check. So when we resort to taking drugs, we wipe out all of our microbes, the good along with the bad, so definitely go easy on the drugs and the Purell because you're killing the good bugs too, which will completely knock your system out of balance. So what does all of this have to do with cravings? Well, believe it or not, cravings start in your gut. By far, the most plentiful and important microbes that we carry are those in our gut or our intestines. These bacteria perform an important function they help break down the foods that we eat, and they are absolutely necessary. They allow us to gain access to nutrients, but the microbes don't do it because they love us and want us to be healthy. It's how they survive, too. An estimated 500 different species of microbes live in our gut, each with a distinct and specific function and nutritional needs. So some microbes have evolved to consume non-digestible fiber, Others consume proteins, and still others prefer carbohydrates and sugars. And our gut flora makeup is directly influenced by the dietary choices uh -huh. we make. We decide which microbes to feed and which to starve. So we create the ecosystem for them. Now, this was particularly interesting. A study published in Nature fed one group of human subjects an animal-based diet and another a plant-based mm. diet. Then researchers studied the short-term results in the subject's gut microbes. And even just after a few days, the meat eaters experienced an increase in bacteria that cause inflammatory bowel disease. So if you are having trouble with your intestines and you are a meat eater, that could be why because the plant eaters increased the number of microbes that actually rid the body of inflammation after just a few days, which is crazy. So our microbes don't just sit around and wait for us to eat things that they need. They are capable of sending out signals, actual cravings for specific kinds of food. And this is where our cravings actually come from. So when we get the sudden urge for a sweet snack, we think that it's just a lack of willpower that makes us give in. We think it's our own bodies and our own metabolisms talking to us, but we could be wrong. There's a reason microbes have been around almost as long as the planet itself, and this is because they know how to get their way, which was crazy to me when I first learned this. Our cravings are actually coming from the microbes in our intestines. Now, if we feed ourselves sugary processed foods, then the microbes that thrive on them are going to proliferate and dominate our digestive system and we're going to suffer and we're going to keep getting the cravings for these sugary processed foods because those are the microbes that we're feeding in our gut. However, if we eat healthy foods, 
<laughs> then the microbes that consume them will flourish and so will we. Which is pretty amazing, right? It's almost like a horror movie in there, which is perfect because Halloween was on Monday. Um, we have been colonized by foreign beings telling us to do things we might not otherwise do. And we obey, thinking that we're the ones who want that ice cream without ever knowing that we're being played, which is so funny. You know, you've heard people say, well, my gut tells me. And they weren't kidding. Our gut really does talk to us and tell us, you know, cravings. We need these certain foods. Scientists still have a lot to learn about microbes and how they operate in the human body. But we already know that they are an extremely powerful force in our lives and our health. Taken all together, they form something like their own internal organ. And scientists have begun referring to our microbiome the term for the entire microbial being that we each contain as the second brain. And like any other organ, it can be healthy or sick. Consuming a diet of diverse, high-fiber, plant-based foods that include fermented foods like kimchi or sauerkraut creates a healthy intestinal environment that improves digestion, nutritional uptake, elimination, immunity, and disease prevention. Now, a lot of people today take prebiotic supplements, which feed the friendly bacteria, and probiotics, which are the actual bacteria, but if we eat a healthy, diverse diet, we can all get the prebiotics and bacteria that we need from our food without taking those fancy supplements. Now, if you feel intense cravings for sugar and processed foods, just know that it is the colonies of microbes in your intestines that you have been feeding for years on these foods and you really have to do your best to shut them out and what i would recommend is to find healthy replacements such as fruits for sweets and going for something like kale chips or peanuts for salty snacks so this way by eating better you will be feeding the healthy bacteria in your gut and eventually the cravings will vanish i promise <laughs> i can personally attest that they do vanish after a while so if you want to learn more about how what we eat affects our overall health, I would love for you to join me in my free web class. I talk about this and all sorts of other fun stuff. You can get free access. It's instant access to just go to the link in the description and register. I would love to see you there. Where are you, mama? And in conclusion, credit is due. Most of the information that I've shared with you today, I learned from the book Super Life by Darren Olean, and it is an amazing book. So thank you so much, Darren, for sharing it with the world because it's awesome. So that wraps it up for today, Warrior Mamas. I hope you learned a little something, and I hope that this improves your battle with those cravings. I promise eventually you will win the war. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments. I will get back to you ASAP. Other than that, I hope you have a fabulous day and a fabulous week. Bye-bye. <laughs>